What is the future of Godot and how are things going to be? Hello guys, good day to you, Andrew from Yell Hype Games here. Today we're going to see this news that just came out yesterday. Basically, Godot is moving to a new kind of foundation. Now, this post came out and they announced that they're moving to a new foundation. And that's actually great for a few reasons. I always wondered why they didn't have a foundation. Obviously, they explain here that it was really hard kind of to manage all the finance and all the taxes uh, if they had a foundation. Since Godot has reached a good success, now they're moving to this kind of foundation. It comes a lot of good benefits actually for the project itself, but for Godot users as well. Because probably now it's going to come very soon an asset shop. You will be able to sell on the Godot asset library basically. They say that the Software Freedom Conservancy and the Godot leadership are excited to share their decision that the Godot project has reached a level of success for which it makes sense finally for Godot to have its own independent foundation. In 2014 it was open source, everything was different back then they say and it was basically made by volunteers and users basically uh, contributed financially to the project to speed up the development. And here it goes and says that creating foundation at the time would have been too costly and difficult. And why create a foundation? Now this section probably is the most important because in the first part they just explaining why they didn't make a foundation. And here you can see that they say that Godot's size merits the flexibility of having its own organization and the opportunity to explore broader funding sources. And that's very important Based, they were kinda limited by their own own way of being basically. Now they can do crowdfunding campaigns like create our blender and they finally can bring us an asset library to set our own assets in this shop. They can sell merchandise and other types of funding basically. And obviously they say that they want to project a stronger image of Godot project and that's obviously important to grab more attention and more and more investors as well. And with this last line here, we want the foundation to serve as a home for community initiatives by allowing it to have its own funding lines. This is quite important because they can direct some of those funds specifically to some features they want basically that they need to develop. They talk about initiatives to promote education, communication and diversity. And they want to be transparent with their financial situation as well. Now an important thing here is to see that they are very very much copying the Blender model but I'm not sure if they are reaching out with the Blender CEO to talk a little bit what their vision is and hopefully they're doing uh, you know a week ago or so a Blender con happened and they announced a lot of new stuff they announced Blender Lab and basically I watched this podcast with Andrew Price and the Blender CEO in which you can understand what its vision is basically. And it talks about how hard it is actually to keep up with the new technologies that are being developed each day. And that's mind blowing because you, you see Blender, you see Blender, Blender is doing great, but actually it says that it's too slow. And for that, it decided to make, you know, Blender Labs. And those guys are going to create a new Blender. I mean, right now we have already 3.4, something like that. But why a new Blender? Because as he says, this version of Blender, after five years or so, it's not going to be that relevant in the industry or in the market in general. Now, take my words for what they are, basically. It's just a crazy man that is wandering aloud and nothing... Nothing real here, right? I'm not saying nothing bad about Godot. I'm not saying that it's going to fail. It's not my intention to make disinformation or by any means share fear out there and make people just go crazy nuts. Now, I'm not sure what is the vision of Godot. Godot 3.5 right now is good, but it's not that good. I mean, comparing it to Blender Foundation and Blender itself, like a product, well, it's quite different. I mean, Blender has been around for a longer time, but as well, it's being used vastly more than Godot, basically, even for professional projects. While Godot is still in the indie genre, no one actually is adopting it for AAA games, right? As long as I know. If you have any news about this, please let me know down in the comment section. God of War is already in beta, but the question is, is it going to keep up with all the new technology that, you know, this big tech industries can invest on their products like Unity or 
Unreal Engine. Is that going to happen? Or when it's going to come out, it's going to be already old and not having most of the new technology on it. This is just me wondering. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comment section what do you think about this news? Are you excited about finally uh, being able to sell your products directly on the asset library? And hopefully you are, because I am. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Andrew from Yellowhead Games. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Please turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my further videos. And more important, keep devving games!